cars, trucks, motorcycles. Head out on the road and you'll see dozens of different types of vehicles. But what about new vehicles that don't look quite like anything you've seen before? There are a lot of new three-wheel vehicles in, on the, in the market. Uh, a lot of individuals are purchasing three-wheel vehicles. They come into the departments of motor vehicle. They want to um, have a license to operate the vehicle. They're, they want to register the vehicle. And the jurisdictions are really challenged with um, what type of vehicle is this three-wheel vehicle? How, what skills does the operator need to safely operate the vehicle? And how should it be registered and titled? Uh, manufacturers were putting a lot of vehicles on the market. Uh, and one of the types of, of vehicles that we were noticing were the three-wheel vehicles. Uh, so as a result, uh, you know, we felt like we needed to, to uh, put a work group together uh, to establish uh, best practices for registration and the operation of those type of vehicles. ANVA's three-wheel vehicle working group took a look at the challenges these vehicles present and crafted a resource to help. The best practices guide for the regulation of three-wheel vehicles. Uh, we recommended that the three-wheel vehicles be broken down into two categories. Uh, mainly three-wheel motorcycles and autocycles. The three-wheel vehicle working group looked at the characteristics and created two classifications of vehicles. The first classification looks more like the traditional three-wheel motorcycle. It has handlebars, um, the operator straddles the, the bike and it, it really looks more like a three-wheel motorcycle. The second type of classification that they created was an auto cycle. And this three-wheel vehicle looks more like an automobile. Uh, it has a, usually has a steering wheel. Uh, the operator usually sits in a seat. And um, there, there's usually seating for passengers in, in a side-by-side -side seating combination. The recommendations, they came out to be a pretty basic as far as the differences between a three-wheel motorcycle and an auto cycle which is good because it makes it easy for law enforcement if they were to pull them over and the state had some type of law around that. I think the group had a, a good variety of folks that had different uh, challenges in each state, in each jurisdiction, whether it be law enforcement or the Department of Revenue. So what they did, uh, we brought all those uh, good ideas together. Um, each state had something very individual to bring to it that was a, a great opportunity for us to to hear what the the problems were and how to solve those and I think that helped out uh, in developing this uh, this program. The best practice guide also includes recommendations for what type of plate to put on the vehicle, how to register it, how to code the vehicle so that um, law enforcement recognizes whether it's a three-wheel motorcycle or if it's an auto cycle and uh, it'll help them determine what type of license the operator should have. In addition, the Best Practices Guide also presents recommendations for testing drivers of three-wheel vehicles to ensure they're safe on the road. The operator really needs different skills to safely operate those vehicles. They need uh, different training, um, different testing should be done to determine whether they have the skills necessary to operate those vehicles safety, really for the, the safety of the person operating the vehicle and the other users of the roadways. The working group hopes that the best practices guide will promote uniformity in the way AMBA members work with three-wheel vehicles and their operators. We've received a lot of calls from jurisdictions just not sure how to register the vehicles, how to uh, license the operators, so I hope they use these best practices to really answer those questions. I hope that they look at it from the standpoint that it will help uh, each state develop their own guidelines, but yet have some consistency so that if someone goes from one state to another, that they'll be able to either get a vehicle license. Uh, uh, consistent uh, or that they'll be able to test for their driver's license uh, whether it be a three-wheeler or a two-wheeler 
um, or, uh, or auto cycle. The purpose of the guide is mainly to aid jurisdictions uh, in adhering to consistent method of defining and identifying three-wheel vehicles. And uh, so AMVA strongly encourages jurisdictions to use the best practices to uh, promote uniformity between states.